good afternoon. How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin am doing? And your hubby too. How y'all living, fam? It is Monday up in this motherfucker. You heard. It's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, y'all. We got a super late start. We needed sleep like a motherfucker. We didn't really get full night's rest the whole time that we were really down here, for real, for real. And then yesterday, we got to play in Jeopardy with Kenji. Damn, am I just getting a bunch of texts because... The signal, I'm telling you. Signal in Dallas is fucked up. And that's for everybody. Even people here in Dallas, their batteries run low. They always have external no, just, chargers with just, them and shit. They just sent a mass, a mass text out. So okay. I'm give it a chance, all right? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. That's cool, cool. Okay. So, because I was like, damn, I just getting texts from this morning. That's happened several times, especially when we were, when we were in the hotel. Okay, that was really weird. The camera just literally conked out on me. I wasn't paying attention to the number of seconds, and let me tell you why. I'm using the big camera right now, and I know that I didn't do anything to the big camera, not that I did anything to the red camera, but this one's not really giving us issues, so I'm wondering if it's the chip that's messed up now, because I just put the chip that was in the red camera into this camera, so we're gonna test this out, and if it times out after 50 something seconds, then it might just be the chip that's the problem and not necessarily the camera. At least I'm trying to say that's what it is. If it is, that's cool. We can always get another chip. It let me import the video, but that's why the vlog was so short yesterday, by the way. So I apologize for that. It was like five minutes and some change. I mean, this, you know, a regular vlog, it just is hella short because, like I said, we dealt with this. So we're about to see. It's 45 seconds in, and we're going to see if it stops on me again. And if it is, then it could be the chip. How weird is that? It just randomly did that, unless I put, touched it on accident. All right, we're about to see. 57 seconds. Uh, one minute. This is the longest. Maybe I pressed the button. I don't know. That is the weirdest thing. Unless I pressed it, because my finger was right by the button for the record. Anyway, using the big camera to vlog today, so we're just going to keep on trucking. Anyway, apologize for the cutoff of the camera. That must have been a slip of the finger on my part. Anyway, still over at Kenji's house. Today's the day we head back to St. Louis. And uh, we're going to have to vlog with the big camera, because I don't think I have enough... Um, uh, memory on my iPhone to vlog and so it's gonna be awkward to vlog with this big ass camera today but you know in the airports and stuff we usually don't have any issues you know with vlogging it's just when I go to like stores like grocery stores and shit that we always have problems when it's this big ass camera because it just looks suspect as fuck but we gonna rock with it because you know how we do we can't just disappear from the from the YouTube you know from our fam bam you know how it goes Juice is over here trying to shift his shit around in his um, suitcases just to avoid any issues with the weight. Because y'all hey, know his was too heavy on the way in. Huh? Where's the remote control? I have no idea. There's, he has like eight remote controls. Oh, I'm over here having me some, uh, some Chick-fil-A. It's really messy, by the way. Just bam, bam. Yum, yum. Spicy chicken and waffle fries. Yeah. We're going to be back on it here in a minute. There's, um, this is actually... The, the uh, living room, he is, um, this is where he does his work. So I kind of just took a little part of his desk or his um, table in the kitchen where he does a lot of his work. So if you see papers and stuff, that's because this is where he does a lot of his work. His fax machines here, copy machine, blah, blah, blah. This is Kenji's, obviously, place. Um, Juice's youngest brother. Anyway, Juice is over here. He is um, trying to shift around some shit. I'm trying to fold everything together so my shit ain't piled on top of each other. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Like it has to. been. I don't think it makes a difference. You want to do the same thing? I might, yeah. <laughs> we just want to get have problems throwing, with... Um, throwing shit in here. Well, what we're going to need to do is just make sure we don't check in everything until... Don't let them take the bag until we've weighed them all. So that if we have to move, we have three pounds in one, we can move it to the other. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what one of our bags are already on the conveyor belt. Sometimes, sometimes Travel they don't y'all. Travel problems. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah, Chick Fil A. I haven't Chick Fil A had haven't had Chick Fil A in years. But y'all know when it gets towards the end of the trip, you ain't trying to spend a bunch of money. We don't spend so much damn money. I just random shit out here, you know. So yeah. We gonna keep it pretty cheap for the rest of the uh, the day, but um, yeah, man. I guess um, Jessica just sent a joint text, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna go look to see what it's about. But other than that, we're gonna be heading to the airport. Our our actual our airplane, our flight was delayed another hour, which is weird. Um, 
for those of you guys on the West Coast, I heard you guys had a four point something earthquake. Hope you guys are okay. We, I mean, we just found out a couple hours ago. Um, I'm supposed to be hitting up my sister to find out if she's all right. I mean, everyone seems to be cool, but that's scary. You know what I mean? Because earthquakes are no joke and LA well not LA I keep saying LA because I'm accustomed to saying LA but California you know they got that fault line and you know they're supposed to be you know when you get an earthquake you get more earthquakes you know supposedly and I know you guys have a lot of mini earthquakes and stuff like that so you guys are probably used to it but anyway I'm always scared for the big one you know that's supposed to happen, you know, that's supposed to detach California from the rest of the, you know what I mean? Y'all have heard of it. I'm sure you've heard of all the, the theories and shit, but, um, anyway, hope you guys are okay. Mm-hmm. The big one that's supposed to detach uh, California. Y'all probably heard of it. If you haven't, just look it up, Google it. Um, I used to be obsessed with things like natural disasters, like tornadoes and hurricanes and earthquakes, especially in tornadoes, because they apply to both, you know, um, well, tornadoes and earthquakes apply to Missouri also. We have a fault line as well. Uh just freaks me out used to be and then I had to stop researching the shit because it freaked me the fuck out you know but um anyway hope you guys are okay in, in um in Cali west coast um outside of that we're gonna just keep it pushing I'm gonna I'm trying to charge my phone as much as it'll charge out here weird um and then I'm gonna try to repack everything make sure we don't forget anything here and, and we're gonna be hitting the next, airport next thing we gotta do is we gotta find out how to get tickets Oh, yeah, yeah. So you game coming up in St. Louis on Friday. Yeah, y'all. And Sunday. Mm-hmm. So that's the next order of business. For real. Get some damn tickets. Look. On some real shit? Look. I apologize. I tried to sneak a bite before turning the camera around. Big-ass camera. It's hard to look around. Anyway, it's been a while. If any of y'all know how to get those tickets, or to get a couple tickets, we're just trying to get two tickets for them. The KU game that's supposed to be here, not here, St. Louis on Friday. I was looking online, I can't find jack shit. They may not be listed yet, I don't know. Right, I tried StubHub. Ticketmaster, I hope not. I don't think so, I hope not. Anyway, if any of you guys know anyone who might be able to get us tickets, I mean, even our people are having a hard time finding them too, so... If you know anybody, let us know, comment. Yeah, or actually, don't, you know, I want to put the information out there, but inbox me or... Hit me up on um, my business email, which is down below in the description box, because we really want to go to this game. Y'all know we're Jayhawk fanatics, so it would be dope to go to the game in St. Louis. So let us know if any of you guys know of any way to get tickets. I don't know. Anyway, all right. I'm going to go ahead and eat this food. Before, you know, I don't want to keep smacking in the camera. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and pack up, because we do have to get ready to go. It is now 102. And, you know, we've been very good about time this entire trip. Like everything that we needed to do even the meet and greet Tyron getting there for the fight on time getting re ready for all the little limos or whatever the fuck taxis and stuff we've been on time for everything which is awesome this entire trip y'all know we are not like that so for us to be on time for everything we're trying to work on our timing we're trying even on the way to the airport we were early so this time we're trying to do the same damn thing you know what I'm saying so anyway I'm going to go ahead and eat and then back up a little bit we just arrived in St. Louis. Awful, so. you know, just you want you to. Oh, I, I just want to see if it'll work. See now that I'm videotaping. No, it's gonna stop. So hold on. Let's see. We're gonna just sit here and wait till it happens. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But if you can, it's a baby crying. This flight was an hour and 40. That was what was happening for the entire hour and 40. And you're going to notice I'm by myself. Well, I'm not sitting with Juice because it was a full flight. And um, some people got here early because they didn't get the text uh, that the flight was delayed. So people actually got their boarding passes earlier than we did, although we arrived on time. But guess who got stuck in front of the crying baby? Juice. And when I say this baby's been wailing, the baby's been wailing for the whole hour and 40. No lie, no joke. Y'all, we ain't having no kind of luck with insurance in flights. And that, what you just heard, was nothing. The baby's been screaming at the top of her lungs. Real talk. All right.
Time to get the fuck up out of here. That's my fuck. But we made it, y'all. Back in the loop. All right, y'all. We are on St. Louis soil. It's not exactly that exciting. Y'all know we're never ready to really come back. However, we've already started kind of sort of on crack, talking about the next trip, whatever that may be. We have no idea what that is. You already know the deal. We told you earlier, no, we told you yesterday that because, you know, Tyron won that fight, he's probably going to get a title fight um, in Vegas, probably, I think, is the next fight. And so, yeah. Hi, Chiefs. <laughs> Got some. Anyway, we're here. We in Lambert Airport doing our thiz and I ye. Okay. Is that my, uh, is that my plane pretty much? Just to get you by? Just hold me over until we get some real food in my system. Yeah, hold up. So, yeah. Juice was literally in front of the baby that was crying. And y'all, I'm not even going to lie to y'all, that baby was wailing, not crying. What you heard was nothing. As soon as we almost, as soon as we landed, that's when the baby shut the fuck up. However, when we were up in the air the whole hour and a half, that baby was wailing. And when I say wailing, screaming. And then it would do like the, ah, ah, like that type of shit. So people were jumping in their seats because they were like half dead asleep and then the baby would make some really loud noise and they would wake up. They were so annoyed. Like, I just watch people. I'm a big people watcher. So watching people react to that is funny as fuck to me, honestly. He had his head on. That's how he survived it. I have headphones too, but they were in my bag and they were up top. Didn't hear cry. Whole yeah, he goes, there was someone crying? I said, shit. And I was two, I was two rows diagonal in front of him, okay? And you could hear that, I mean, obviously. What the fuck? It is packed up in this motherfucker. I don't know if you guys, hopefully you guys can see that it's packed. Jeez. Man, on St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day, y'all, by the way. You guys may be wondering what's on my lips. Bam. Y'all know I always forget, but since I'm using my iPhone to vlog, I know this may come up. It comes up really pretty on camera. I don't know. It may come off fucked up when we uh, edit the vlog. Anyway, um, it is heroin MAC underneath, and then it is raspberry tart from the NYX Butter Gloss line the new glosses that just came out so I just wanted a little bit of shine if you can see um today is Monday that's probably yes. why it's so bad yeah we but did still add or, did add or something going on in St. Louis we don't know about yet right we're maybe we're about to find out mm. y'all you see I salvaged the nail super glue like a motherfucker but it stayed on the whole weekend look I had to do what I had to do Niggas was not about to go pay for another set of nails, my nigga. Y'all saw how long I kept the last set of nails, those two nails, these two that broke. I kept the motherfuckers broke for the two weeks after that. I don't like going, you know, I didn't want to go spend the money again. Y'all know. I'm weird. And I said to myself, if this nail falls off, the nail falls the fuck off. But I'm going to try to salvage the nail. So. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Luggage is already here. They don't play. It's the second trip that we've been on where our luggage came out right away. But then again, we were one of the first people. You were one of the last people because we got we got um, it set up where it gives us a, a notification that the flight was delayed. And so we knew our flight was delayed, but a lot of people, you know, not a lot of people signed up for those alerts. So they were saying a lot of people showed up early thinking the flight was at three something and it got pushed up an hour. So fortunately for us, we got the alert. So we knew to kind of stay back and just chill. We were able to hang out with Kenji a little bit more. I'm sorry y'all didn't really see Kenji and Quinn a lot on this vlog, honestly. Um, number one, Quinn and Kenji didn't have tickets to the fights and all that kind of stuff, you know. Quinn is in between jobs and, you know, Kenji was just chill, you know what I'm saying? He really wasn't, in, he's not into MMA or any of that type of shit like we are, you know? So really didn't, he just wanted to hang out and that was it. And then, um, let me grab this other bag while I'm here. And then, um, Kenji's very shy. He's never, ever for real been around us when we've been vlogging consistently on a daily. It's so not him. And I did not want to freak him out, you know? So I didn't want to do that to him, not at his place. I didn't want to have it all up in his grill. He said, I don't have a problem with saying hi or whatever, but you know, I'm just not a vlog person, which I understand, you know, not, it's not for everybody. 
So I don't. I try not to have the camera in people's faces. You know, you know how that goes. You know, you know, they're not like you know they they're not like they're not comfortable with it. We are. You know, you can't force someone to be comfortable. So I know with um you know, we we barely saw Avery. We saw her, but we barely saw her because she stayed at a different hotel. Obviously, they keep the fighters in a different hotel from where the attendees stay, so that there's no distractions. So Avery, of course, was with him, so you didn't see her for that reason. And that's always how it goes. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Jasmine is not really as comfortable in front of the camera. So, I mean, you know, a lot of the people that we went with are not that comfortable, unfortunately, in front of the camera. So you didn't see a lot of that interaction, which I wish you all could have seen. But, again, I, I'm not in the business of making people feel uncomfortable, you know what I mean? I'm supposed to be going to Kansas, I think, in the next couple of weeks, maybe. Y'all know my birthday's coming up, too. So, um, maybe heading out to Kansas. And uh, then I'll tell you why. There's a reason for that too. But I, I'll tell you guys closer to the time frame that if I do go, why? And it's nothing bad. I just, it's not my business to tell yet. If that makes sense, you'll understand when it comes down to it. But it's a good thing. It's a positive. <laughs> it's a positive thing. But I may be going there for that. Um, and of course, everybody that's in Kansas is totally cool with the camera because they're crazy like me. You know what I'm saying? So. Cheers, put the tears. You excited to be back home, Juice? Oh yeah, always. I like it the way going on vacation or whatever, and uh, you know, just experiencing new cities. It was doing fun, though, right? Shit. Yeah, just eating some good food, doing different shit. Mm -hmm. you know, hanging out with the fam and everything. Yeah. You know, so you always come back home feeling rejuvenated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeling, you know, feeling good about going forward and uh, just getting things popping. Waiting for the next year, too. I planning. know! I saw planning ahead for the next one. Yeah, Bambi, Bambi just texted me while we were in Texas and was like, Bitch, we need a beach. I was like, Oh, shit. shit. Right, after we said we both said the same thing. Like, Bambi, uh, we must. Damn, we just got back. I know, let, 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 let a nigga get to St. Louis. That's what I told I was like, Hold up. Let me come to St. Louis right quick. Let me get on St. Louis soil and then we're going to talk about the next trip. You know what I mean? We gotta, so. We got to count my nickels, man. We gotta, for we gotta real. Count our for real. Cause we spent some nickels out here and, and we took advantage of hella discounts and all kinds of shit but you know we didn't have a place that had a kitchenette so we had to eat almost every meal out and what so, I'm gonna do is you know, tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up before I go to work I'll go out back to, you know and look up in the sky and see if there's, see if there's any nickels falling out of the sky tomorrow so <laughs> if there are you know Bambi hey, we be on right it's on and popping uh, we're gonna let you know if it, if it works the next day then the day after that right following day and then uh, hopefully one of these days when I look up in the sky and shit will fall. Yeah. Or fly. Whatever <laughs> shit. So uh yeah, let's go see if uh Ron's up here. Yeah Ron is coming to get us. Should be outside somewhere. Another shy motherfucker, I'm telling you. <laughs> you get this right up. Yeah. Get that up. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Okay. What about this one right here? You want me to get uh, Are you sure? Yeah. The hell? Okay grabbing all of our damn bags and aren't you guys proud of us everything we did this weekend including the airports including the flights everything was on exact mundo on time early in fact we were early for everything the fight anything that we had to do i i can't say that enough so proud of ourselves and then can we talk about my closure bitch <laughs> go look bitch bad look at the closure bitch no hair out okay late hunting brassy my ass Yellow my tush. Mm -hmm. So yeah, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much for those of you guys who left me comments about that. Y'all, for real, for real, appreciate it. You know, I'm human. Sometimes you just don't feel like hearing no shit. And that's just the kind of nigga I am. That's me being real. Like, you see some shit over and over again, you're like, fuck it, I don't want to see that shit no more. I'm on vacation, I'm trying to chill. I'm on some positive stuff. You know, I try to spread and promote positivity. And, uh... You know, the day that everybody was saying that shit, I was under fluorescent motherfucking lights. I was at the airport. Come on. Cut a nigga some slack. But anyway. For those of you guys who did comment and make, um, you know, make comments on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, sent me messages. I so appreciate it. For real, for real. Rich Fashion Ken. Um, there's so many people that left me comments. And obviously, since I'm vlogging from my iPhone, um, I can't look at see and see. 
specific names, but you guys know who you are. Thank you for that. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're here. What time did we tell Ron? Damn, I'm gonna have to get some new luggage soon. Ooh, I've had this luggage for a while, probably 10, 11 years. It's actually lasted pretty well, but some of the buckles are coming off just from the wear and tear of throwing it on the, uh, the belt and stuff like that and throwing it in the plane, I'm sure, from years of travel. But anyway, yeah. Um, Bam wants to do a trip just like the four of us to go somewhere. I have no idea. Which I'd be totally down for. I'm totally up for something like with a beach or something like that. We haven't been on a beach since Cabo years ago, I think. Like a real one, like a, like a, like a Mexico type beach. We've been to Miami, but like, you know, a real lengthy vacation someplace like a Cancun or Cabo or Jamaica. It's been a while, you know what I mean? Since we've done that type of trip. And that's the kind of trip she wants to go on, so. We'll see. There you go. Is that Ron? He's dating yeah. me on time. He ain't playing. He ain't playing. You chili juice. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no niggas on time. <laughs> some, some new shit. driving our car too. Alright. Let's be up easy. What's up y'all? I know y'all see in the background a bitch is back. <laughs> we finally got back to the cribbo. Ron just dropped us off and uh, anyway he was washing the dogs along with Linda. So thank you to both of them for helping us wash the dogs while we were away. So appreciate it. Manishka would have normally watched them but Manishka was actually in LA. Y'all know she got engaged while she was out there and she just got back yesterday so she wouldn't have been able to watch them at all. She might have been able to swing by today for like a quick second. But anyway, we owe y'all a story. And I was like, Juice, we got to tell this story. Otherwise, we're going to forget because, you know, he's going back to work tomorrow. And it's going to be back to regular shit. So um, I'm over here already editing and shit. I just shot my video about this hair so y'all can find out a little bit more about the hair itself and all that shit. But we owe y'all a funny ass story. Actually, there's a couple. But this one in particular, y'all need to hear. So do you want me to start it? Do you want to start it? There's, there's no story. There's no story. No, there's no story. How so. is there no story? Because there's not a story. How you figure there's no story? It's not important, you know. Nigga, this is a story. No, it's, it's, I think you should start the story since you said there wasn't a story. Well, in my book, there is no story. Okay, well, shit. The tale, the tale, the tall tale. <laughs> there's no story, The lies man. we tell. There's no story, man. It's just, uh, you know, shit happens. Oh, for real? Right. Okay, well, then talk about the shit that happened, nigga. I mean, they pretty much saw everything. You know, we went to Texas. We uh, had a you know had a meet and greet. We saw a great fight. We uh, visited my brothers and uh, ate some good food. Mm -hmm. Had a good time, and that's pretty much the story, you know. That's, and uh, I'm sticking to it. Nigga, y'all know he full of shit. Y'all know if he's avoiding telling y'all the stories because it has to do with him. All right. No, this just ain't got nothing to do with me. It don't have a shit it's to do just with you. That in life, shit happens. Oh, for real. I mean, how many times did shit happen in your life to where you had no control over, you know, how the shit went down? Oh, my God. You just, you know, shit happens. It happens. Yeah, and it happened. Let me tell you what the fuck happened, okay? Ain't nothing happened. Oh, yeah, something happened. So, okay, keep in mind, you know, because I know people going to say whatever the fuck they want to say. Oh, well, you should have, nah, nah, nah. Hear me out first there's before no, any judgment no, is made. There's no story, man. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> this story. Okay. So, I apologize if you see me look over here. It's because I'm using the big camera and there's like a viewfinder and that's what we do when we actually use this camera until I get the other one fixed. Blech. Anyway, all right. So, story time with Juice and Sandy's S and J. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. So, we get down. We're, okay. We leave to go down to the airport, right? <clears throat> and there's a reason why I waited till now to tell you all this story, okay? Because the ending of the story had, you know hadn't been determined and so there would be no end to the story to said story okay so anyway we are you know we leave we're we're ecstatic about leaving to go to dallas we're excited we're amped we packed hella early we were ready to go when ron came and got us we were ready an hour before he got here he came and got us it turns out that we were on time for the on time flight however it also got pushed back an hour so we were on time and extra early for the fact that our flight was delayed heading out to dallas so everything's cool you know what i'm saying everything's cool copacetic we chilling in the cut you know we flowing we Wrapping in the car with Ron, you know, you know what I'm saying? Talking about some, we about to get it in, right? 
fine and dandy. So we get to the airport, you know, Juice and I, we go ahead and chill. We go to Chili's, okay? Speaking of Chili's. chilling, yeah. we went to Chili's. That we did, yeah. And yeah. Uh, we, hold on, let me move over here so you can see his face. Um, <laughs> yeah, now it's more appropriate. So, you know, we went to, you know, we went to Chili's and we, we had, you know, a little adventure there too because, you know, motherfuckers were taking all day and shit. The, the, the service was Oh, was the slow. service yeah, was, was horrendous, slow. okay? I wanted to pull up my camera yeah. so damn bad, but we were wanted to, we wanted to make sure we ate before yeah, we got on that flight. Something. So yeah. it, we wouldn't have had time to shoot, but the shit was funny as fuck. Them motherfuckers were, we had, they had tables for days open and the motherfuckers yeah. were just walking with the slow bop. Yeah, and, it was some pretty good tables in there too. Pretty good tables. Y'all want to, y'all know what he's doing. He's trying to, you know, get y'all off track. Okay. So while these niggas were walking with the slow what? bop off of our tall tail, our, 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 our story. Okay. So we go up and, you know, we're getting done eating. Everything's cool. We chill. I'm like, damn, everything's cool. Smooth. You feel like you got everything? I feel like I got everything. Everything's gravy. I got everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Oh, Beverly Hills Housewives. Ooh, this is going to be good. The reunion of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, my bad. Really? It's going to be good? It's going to be damn good. Let no, it let's change. Let's watch it then. Let yeah. that shit change. Let's watch it. Go ahead and let's play. Anyway. Go ahead and watch it. Okay. Come so. Like five minutes. I'm not making. So, we get into the flight. Now we're on the plane. It's a one-way, straight-way flight to Dallas. We're on the flight. Keep in mind, we've been at the airport an hour and a half or whatever, so we had plenty of time to eat. We've been there early. Shit was delayed. Got our boarding passes. We cool. We sit down. He's looking at his phone. We're pulling up the information for the, you know, hotel that we stayed at. You know, they're about to take off. You know what I'm saying? Very nice hotel, by it's the way. It's a beautiful hotel. Beautiful, beautiful hotel. We it's didn't even have a chance to show y'all. Oh, put the thing a little bit. Let me, first of all, you want to watch it right quick. Nah, nigga. We don't okay. tell the story. Okay. So, we didn't get a chance to show y'all that the t the um, the hotel, like, it has a little, the, the window things, the, the shades come down electronically and come down, like, you know, y'all see on MTV Cribs. It was dope. Okay, let's go back there and show them that. Now, you know what? We can't go back there. Okay. So, we, we're looking at the flight, I mean, the uh, hotel information in his phone because, you know, we wanted to pull it up, make sure we're good and cool in the gang. We know exactly what hotel we're trying to drive to because there's two real? of the same hotel in Dallas. Oh, I'm tripping. Go, I'll go in my bed. Oh, so, for yeah, real? Okay. So, real? as we're looking at the information for the hotel, I'll tell you about that in two seconds. As we're looking at the information of the hotel, I'm like, yeah, so we got our hotel, we got our airfare, take, we got everything done, and we have our, you know, our tickets to the fight. So we're good. We have everything. We're gravy train. Everything's cool, right? Let me tell you what this motherfucker did. You see that fat hamster get out that door and a little gap? No, nigga. You see that fat hamster? No. So this motherfucker is going to be like, <gasps> the tickets. I go, <gasps> Motherfucker, you better be fucking faking the funk. You better be lying like a motherfucker. Don't play me like that. Like, I literally was like, nigga, you better be joking. Okay? So, he's like, nah. For real. Eyes open like this. For real. The tickets. Oh, the tickets. Oh, the tickets. You know what tickets he's referring to? Not the plane tickets. Obviously, those were electronic. No, we were Not on, the hotel we're on shit. Plane, we're on a plane. On you know what I'm saying? The fight tickets. We left the flight tickets at the house, y'all. Keep in mind, we got down there Wednesday night, okay? The fight is Saturday, okay? Plenty of time. The, fi the fight tickets. If I hadn't mentioned the fight tickets, we probably wouldn't have thought twice about it. I was like, yeah, we got this, we got that, we got this. Now, there's a story behind this, because I know everyone's going to be saying some shit. Let me go ahead and tell the story. I was on his ass, like, dude, homie. We need to make sure we put the tickets, the hotel information, airfare information, everything all in one place so we can take it with us to, to Dallas. I, you know, because he's the, here's the thing. In our relationship, in our marriage, because some people are going to be like, well, shit, Sandy, you could have put it up. Nah, nigga. That's not how we work up in this house, okay? The keeper of things is juice, and I'm the reminder of things, okay? So that's just how it works. I'm the anal one, and he is the organized one. That is how it works in our household, okay? Now, I don't know how everybody else that does a shit, but that's how we do it, Okay. And typically we're on top of shit when it comes to stuff. But let me tell you what this Negro did to me. Every time I reminded him, I was like, babe, we got to remember. We got to get the tickets. We got to get this. We got to get that. He was like, I got it, man. I got it, dude. It's cool. I got it. Da -da -da -da. I cool. I'm cool. I know where they are. I know how to. I got my shit. I got. Huh. You still don't have anything to say? I did have it, though. You know, I knew where they were. I knew exactly where they were. Nigga. And uh, I knew how many tickets we had. So I did have my shit together. Nigga. So... 
I said, I mean, I really thought at first he was kidding. When I say my heart dropped to the pit of my stomach, and let me tell you why my heart dropped to the pit of my motherfucking stomach. Because we're on a flight heading to Dallas, and there's no way to go back home to get the tickets. It is Wednesday night. It was probably, I don't even know, I don't remember what time we left, but we were going to arrive in Dallas at 10 something at night. So, you know, Jessica, who was coming tomorrow, like that next day on Thursday, was, you know, asleep already. She goes to bed hella early because she gets up hella early with the kids and she trains a lot of people in the morning. It's my fault. Everybody was leaving Thursday to go out of town. I mean, to head out to Dallas. I mean, we rolled probably 35 deep to, to Tyron's fight. Give or take. With everybody leaving at, mm-hmm. you know, usually, uh, everybody pretty much leaving Thursday. Mm-hmm. He's like, we're going to be cool. We're going to be cool. Now, Juice is always real laid back about shit. But y'all know I'm anal retentive and I stress about things. So, I, that whole flight was the most uncomfortable flight on the fucking planet. Why? Because I was trying to rack my brain with what we could do to get the tickets here. Now, granted, the tickets not only were not in our possession, but they would have had to either been mailed or brought to us. There's no other way to get around that shit, you know? And everybody was coming in on Thursday. I wasn't about to call Avery and be like, hey, girl, can you get the tickets? Your husband's going to be in the fight. Nigga, I'm not going to do that shit. You, y'all are focused on that. That's not, you know, obviously that's not her problem. Well, it wasn't their problem, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, and then, you know, and Jessica, of course, would have done it with no problem, but I knew her flight was getting, um, was leaving, you know, earlier. At so least she- that's what I had in Plus my head. she was asleep, so you know. Right, and I wasn't about to bother. Yeah, yeah. I racked my brain. Let me tell you, the whole flight was hell on earth. Then let me tell you about this bitch next to me. Now, granted, she was so sweet and kind at the end of it all. But imagine someone like me who is like has kind of OCD a little, okay, a little anal retentive, okay, a um, little ticked at her husband, okay, a um, little stressed, okay, because this is like a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, you saw the, the the seats. We had great seats. It was an amazing experience. We would have missed the whole thing had we not had our tickets okay she would have could you know whatever so i'm stressing the fuck out okay the whole time i'm like oh my god oh my god i couldn't close my eyes juices meanwhile right i'm in the middle seat he's in the aisle seat like he always sits and there was this bitch next to me right so the bitch next to me don't worry about nothing don't worry about nothing so this motherfucker had her headphones on she's got her headphones and she's doing her thiz naive, okay? I'm stressing the fuck out, going, fuck, 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 fuck. If this plane does not land so I can figure out what the fuck I'm going to do. Because I can't make a call. So Literally, we found out about the tickets when they're like, okay, well, if you could turn off all your uh, your devices and uh, we're going to go ahead and lift off. Like, could not make a text call. He happened to text Ron and be like, hey, dude, if we, if, if there's a chance you could go by the house and pick up the tickets for us, we would so appreciate it because we left the tickets, right? Uh, anyway, so as we're heading out to Dallas, the girl next to me, keep in mind, I, my nerves are worked. She's got her headsets on, which most people, when they put their headsets on, it's all gravy. They put their headsets on, they do their like, this list, whatever you do your thing, you know what I'm saying? And you listen to your music in quiet and peace. This motherfucker had her headphones on, was singing with the fucking music. This motherfucker's jam came on and was like, sunshine in the city, yeah. And then you went to the store and you went to get to, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Why why me today? You fucking with me right now, motherfucker. You singing today, right now. I'm stressing this nigga and my ass in between these two motherfuckers. I'm like the fuck, okay? Sweet as pie though. This girl at the end of the flight was sweet as pie. She's supposed to be small talk, da da da. But up until that point, the bitch was singing the whole fucking time with some headsets on, talking about some sweet home Alabama. I'm like the fuck. Am I? I'm in the twilight. I'm in the twilight zone, okay? So we finally, longest flight ever, by the way. It's only an hour and 40, but because I was like, uh, longest flight ever, we finally get down on the ground. The minute my phone gets turned on is the minute I thought, I don't know what made me think to call my friend Bernard, but he's one of the people that were coming down. It's my boy. I love him to death. If you're watching Bernard, you know we love you. Right on, Bernard. Oh. I text him. I was yeah. like, dude, are you up? Keep in mind, it's close to 11 p.m. at night, okay? On a Wednesday night. You know what I'm saying? People work in the fucking morning, although I knew he was coming the next day, but I didn't know what time. I was just taking a chance. I knew Jessica's flight was going to be probably earlier in the day. Everyone else's was early in the day. Long story short, he called me. As soon as I texted him, I was like, are you up? I got to ask you a quick question. He called. I was like, Bernard, you will not believe what I did. He started cracking the fuck up. He was like, dude, I got you. Um, And I said, well, my boy Ron is actually going to go by our house and get the tickets. Juice knew exactly where they were. We just left the motherfuckers. Okay. I knew exactly where they were. Piece of cake. I hate you. I really do. Piece of cake. So, Ron... 
um, and him ended up meeting up because um, we were actually thinking about doing like getting them next day mailed or two day mailed or whatever because it was still well it would have been next day mailed just to make sure we got them but tickets like that because okay, by the way and I know people could probably ask oh can we do um, could you have gotten them reprinted that's not these tickets these are tickets that were purchased through the UFC like not purchased like general purchase through Ticketmaster where you could pre-print the ticket or go on your phone you know phone and pull it up and get a barcode none of that these are physical tickets that if you lost your SOL period end of story period okay so um that we purchased a long time ago y'all know when we purchased them that being said um the dogs as the dogs That long story long, long short, short, we got the tickets. We got the tickets. Ron went and met with Bernard. You know, made a business contact in the process because they both have similar, you know, backgrounds. They had met kind of previously, but not really, and so they connected, which was cool. And uh, anyway, Ron got the tickets to Bernard. Bernard's flight wasn't leaving until eight, and um, they brought the tickets with them. Thank you, Jesus, y'all. That was, I'm not even gonna lie, that flight was stressed. He was stressed too. Like, he's trying to play it all shit off right now. But that nigga was freaking no out way. too. Yes, you no were. Way. You were like, oh, fuck. Uh, oh, you didn't say that? No, I was stressed. You didn't say that? No, I knew we, you know, Ron was coming checking check on the dogs every day. He'd he get the tickets to us. The lies you know. he tells. Okay. Either way, I mean, he wasn't like I was. I was freaking out because the last thing you want is to send something next day mail. There'd be a discrepancy. It gets lost. You know what I'm saying? And thankfully, Kenji lives out there, Juice's brother, so we could have had it sent to Kenji's house. But you know, everything in Dallas is like literally 50 miles apart. If something is down the street, you may see it from the road. You get in that car, that's just going to be a 40 mile drive. That's just how it is in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? So we didn't want to have him running us around everywhere and running to get tickets back and forth to us. Thank you, Jesus, that Bernard's plane left at 8-something, and thank God he was able to link up with Ron, and thank God Ron was able to go get it, and oh my, like, it just makes you realize, like, friends are just, oh, thank God for friends, you know what I mean? So, Bernard, Ron, I know y'all probably watching this, thank you for so much for that, y'all saved our asses, for real, and Bernard guarded them with his life, like, he was like, I don't even want to bring them to y'all until the day of the fight, like, I, I'm not even going to give them to you until the day of, because if I put it in my pocket and one gets lost, like, it's a wrap, like, we are screwed, you know what I'm saying? So... And they were great seats, y'all. So that was the story we needed to tell y'all. And the reason why we didn't tell y'all earlier was because yeah. I didn't really know what the fuck the outcome was going to be. Because shit, Bernard could have left the tickets on accident, too. It's not his responsibility any fucking way. He was doing us a favor. You know what I'm saying? So when I talked to Bernard the day he got the tickets, I said, Bernard, don't leave them like we did. Please don't. I said, put them with your tickets. It was hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Turns out we're not the only people who almost who actually forgot their tickets to the fight. Um, our boy Antoine, I think, left his tickets behind too. He ended up having to switch flights because he had to go back home to get his tickets. Thankfully, he was able to go standby and get on another flight. But seriously, every flight was booked heading out to Dallas this weekend. So he was fortunate. But thank God he was flying by himself. It's easier to get standby when you're solo. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Cray. It was Cray. But uh, it's one of those stories, you know, that only happens to Juice Night. <laughs> seriously, like, y'all know, there's always something. It's like we were on time for everything the flight was good everything was gravy train we were doing everything the right way and then this shit comes up you know what I'm saying so it worked out it worked out solid fight it was a great fight it was awesome now it was back. so worth every bit of the money we spent to buy those tickets I mean y'all if y'all have an opportunity to go to a UFC fight a boxing match or whatever because we've never been to any one of those it's so worth it it's so worth it and at that American Airlines Center Almost any spot in the American Airlines Center except the high, the top row, I guess, in the building are great seats because you can see everything the way, have it, the way they have it laid out for those kinds of fights. It's awesome. It's awesome. So don't think you have to spend. We didn't spend a million dollars on those tickets. I mean, they weren't cheap, but they weren't expensive. You know what I'm saying? We could have gotten more expensive tickets and we chose not to. And we had great seats. We could see everything. It was awesome. So, yeah, that was our story. Mm. He's so lucky. Because seriously, we could have thought of it on Thursday. We could have thought of it on Friday. But we didn't. Mm -hmm. So we could. We are good. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, that's the type of shit that happens to us. So, yeah. anyway. That's funny. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Aww. The hell? Anyway. Yeah. So, that was our little story. I'm trying to think if there's any other stories. I told y'all about the girl sitting next to me on the flight. I told y'all about the babies that was crying like a motherfucker today. Those are our stories from Dallas so far. So far, so far, so far. So... You know, we're going to make another trip soon at some point. Not soon, but we're going to try to make another trip. We're trying to make it a point to travel a little bit more, you know what I mean? You know, but, you know, again, 
it all depends. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't balling niggas, you know, yet. We just do what we can. You know what I mean? But now that we I'm back, love doing this. Now that I'm back, my belly got a lot of bass in it. See your stomach. We ate. Oh, that's another thing, too. Oh. Um, oh, you have to tell him something else. You're not going to tell him yet? Oh, I can't tell him in these conditions. Okay. So, oh. if in the next few vlogs you don't hear a story from Juice, it's not a story, but it's something, remember I told you before oh, we left like for Dallas, this. that when we yeah. come back, we have something to tell y'all about something that Juice is going to be doing. Do so, like oh, yeah. Boy. So, he's going to tell y'all when? Ooh. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, he'll tell y'all manana. So stay tuned for whatever that announcement is because he wants to be the one to make the announcement, obviously, okay? But, um, I know. But, yeah, y'all, honestly, like, I had, I, we both, we got to clean it up now. I mean, spring is here. Not that we haven't been working out, but now we got to clean up the diet, too. We've been just eating whatever we wanted and da-da-da-da. Granted, we don't leave a lot of food here that's nasty. We eat pretty decent, but it's not, like, regimented like it was before. So we're going to get back to it and stuff, especially now that we can go to the track and stuff and it's starting to get a little warmer, although it's been kind of cold here while we've been gone. Same, it was cold in Dallas, too, so. Anyway. So yeah, y'all. I guess we're gonna let y'all go. I'll let you know what I decided to do because there is something that I want to do. Um, I want to do. Well, I'll tell you about it, but it's nothing major. But I'm doing some research on it first. Either way, we're gonna try to figure out something to eat that's probably not gonna be so good for us since we have to buy it because we have no food here. And uh, yeah, y'all. We're gonna let y'all go. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Back on, on the to grind. The next thing yep. And, um, trying yeah. to plan out the next whatever it is we're gonna plan. Yeah. And we're going to holler at y'all manana. Yeah, y'all. Thanks for riding with us. Seriously. And thank you so much to everyone who came out for the meet and greet and all that. That we <laughs> yeah. saw in the hotels. Oh, yeah. That we you. met yeah, when we, we were out and about. We like, had a good time. Oh, my know. God. Amaze balls. I'm so glad you guys love the... Um, that Rosé Regal. Oh, that Rose yeah. We got to get that. When we, Regal, if we can Regal, find that damn... Rose. There's two bits of alcohol Regal. we got in Dallas that was bomb. Get it. Oh my God, if I could find that again, I'll show you guys what it is. One of them is local to Dallas, so I don't know. I'm going to have to see if someone can give me a bottle and send it to me. Yeah, and the other one is that bad. rosé, whatever it was, that we drank that at the meet and greet. I'm going to see if I can find it here. If I do, I'll show it to you guys because they're bomb. They're both bomb. They're yeah. fire. Anyway, I'll tell you which one it is that I found from... Um, I don't know if we took a picture of it. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, we love y'all. And we will see y'all manana. Love y'all. All right, y'all. Peace. Bye.